the blast of nitro, which makes the Aeroflow Outlaw Funny Cars so special and spectacular. And with that blast of nitro comes a huge amount of horsepower. And this team, Daniel and Greg Schultz with the General, know all too well the nitro tightrope that they walk with this car. As you can see from previous rounds in Perth, this car has been launching hard and carrying the front wheels. The end result was the titanium bolts holding the motor plate to the chassis were being snapped. When this starts to happen, you lose the fundamental geometry and sure handling of the car. So the team decided they needed to move the engine forward just five centimetres in this car to help calm the front end down. Sounds simple, doesn't it, that process? If only that were true. The first step was to chop the chassis in front of the steering box with a more nimble and flexible design. Then, once you commit to changing engine position, you change everything else connected to it. The drive shaft needs to be extended. All hoses and fittings need to be re-plumbed to connect to the new engine location. The funny car body may need adjustments to make sure it closes down properly where the supercharger sits on your relocated engine. Then you have to worry about weight balance and distribution in the car. With the reciprocal nature of a high horsepower nitro supercharged engine, it loads a lot of weight onto the right rear, in particular in these cars. So what they do is with the kingpin on the left front tyre, they have the adjustable weight area to help manage that cross weight balance to help try and make sure the car tracks straight down the racetrack. There's as much as 30 kilos in weight distribution difference in the rear tyres, just to make the car track straight during a racing pass. Again, any motor location adjustment means you need to readjust this weight. The Aeroflow Nitro Funny Cars really are tiptoeing down a tightrope at over 400 k's in one amazing show of skill and speed.